Okay, so there's this hunter and he's been in the rainforest all morning. It's been a long one and he hasn't found anything. He's sitting down for lunch, it's about noon. He pulls out some granola bars, he's sitting on a log and he looks up at the tree that he's sitting under and he realizes, oh, there's figs up there. Well, let me grab some of those to top off some of these granola bars. While he's eating these figs, he realizes, I am tired. Let me grab one more of these figs and then we're gonna head back. In the middle of eating that fig, he dozes off. When he comes to, he hears like this weird popping sound, kind of like a little like pinching sensation going up and down his arms. And he's just like super out of it and he's super, super weak. He like opens his eyes and he thinks he sees like a little red lumpy thing slinking away up into the trees. And he's weak, he just blacks out. When he comes to again, he's weaker than before. He tries to bring his hands to his eyes to like rub his eyes and realizes he can't move his arms. He can't move anything beneath his shoulders. And that like jolts him awake. And he looks down and he sees that he's covered in something like red and like fleshy. He's like turning his head and on one side he sees two beady eyes looking up at him and he realizes he's being swallowed whole. And this creature like reaches up and like pushes him down further and when his fingers come off he hears that popping sound again. So he's been pushed down into what must be the creature's stomach. This is like a really tight enclosed area. He's struggling, he's trying to get out and there's like this slimy fluid probably up to like his waist and he's trying to avoid that as well. He's struggling for what feels like hours and just when he's about to like just give up. He's like drenched in liquid from above. That startles him and he's coughing. It happens again and he's trying to like breathe. He realizes that the area around him is expanding. Like the, the thing's drinking water. So he fights even harder and he gets drenched, I think two or three more times. And like the water's like up to like his nose and he's trying his hardest to like breathe. He starts feeling this, the space around him getting tighter again. The water's like going above his head. So now he's coughing and the space tightens again and he's, he thinks he's gonna drown. And then um, it happens one last time and the creature throws him up. He's thrown onto his back and he's just sitting there trying to take the deepest breath possible. He's super weak and super, super tired. Like he was fighting for a long time. He's on his back and he's looking up and he sees like a little red man-like thing that is like waist high and it has like a huge head and a huge mouth. Um, and it's like skittering off up into the trees. And he is giving it his all trying to stay awake cause he is weak. He can tell by where the sun is that um, it's about late evening and like an hour or two goes by and he's able to muster up some energy and get himself stood up and start making his way back where he came from. This entire time walking back, he's like looking at the trees. Uh, he's so scared that thing's gonna come back cause he's weak and he doesn't know if he can fight it off. By this time it's late. So he makes it into the hotel room he's staying in. First thing he does is go to the shower to like wash off all this slime that he was sitting in. So when he gets out of the shower, he grabs a fresh pair of clothes. He puts them on and he's like, what on earth? These clothes are too big. They're like two sizes too big. And he goes back to his suitcase to go grab a different set of clothes. And he notices that his skin has a little bit of a reddish tinge to it. Okay, so what in the world are we dealing with today? This creature is usually described as like a little man with a large head and a very, very big mouth. Um, it loves fig trees. It waits for humans to fall asleep under its tree where it's nice and vulnerable and it drops down and it feasts on your blood <laughs> through like little like suckers that are on its fingers and toes. Think like um, octopus tentacles, but they suck blood through it. These creatures are found in Australia and they're called the Yaramayahu. I hope I'm saying that right. And it is said that if it swallows you, that when it regurgitates you, if this creature can do it repeatedly, because they try to, they're basically creating offspring, if you will. If they swallow you repeatedly, you will get smaller and your skin will become redder and you develop a taste for blood. If you're ever in Australia, um, avoid the fig trees as if Australia didn't have enough nopes. <laughs> Join me again later.